You know, I always really appreciate this question because I've seen it in the comments section over the past couple of weeks here and there, uh, and I've been meaning to address it. So my stance on John Harbaugh, has it changed? Is it different? Do I think differently when it comes to Ravens head coach John Harbaugh? No, I don't. I don't. Um, but with, with Harbaugh, it's, it's still all the same stuff for me. I just really want to see him be held accountable, like really be held accountable, um, and him hold others that he runs accountable as well. And the accountability that I'm talking about, it, it was confirmed. I mean, it's something that we all already knew, uh, but Harbaugh confirmed it in his press the other day, uh, his responsibility, because he said that he is in control of making the hires to his staff. And then Eric DaCosta, he reiterated that in his press conference as well. So, if you're in control of making the hires, then you need to be in control, like really in control. And one of the things with Harbaugh, I know he doesn't like to micromanage. Mm -mm, nope, not his style. Doesn't like micromanaging. He says, hey, you the offensive coordinator? All right, you coordinate the offense. I'll sit back and let you do your thing. Oh, you the defensive coordinator? You coordinate the defense? I'll sit back and let you do your thing. Special teams? You handle business there too? You got it. Now, of course, he'll make some decisions, especially on offense, like when it comes to fourth down, going for it on a fourth down. That's him right there. That's John Harbaugh. He has to make that decision. Uh, if they're going to go for the two-point conversion, we know that the infamous Harbaugh with them two fingers. Boy, that boy, he quick, quick to put him up. But this one, oh yeah, nah, he like, nah, I don't want There we go. Yeah. But anyway, with the, uh, the two-point conversions, that's him too. But I just want... Harbaugh to really just be held accountable and for him to hold others accountable as well. You see the offensive coordinator, uh, they things they they not they ain't being run so smoothly. Step in. Hey, Giro, no, let's fix this. How about we do this? How about you change this up? Okay, I like when you did this. How about we go back to the it's okay. And then with Mike McDonald as a defensive coordinator, Ooh, that, that felt kind of weird to say. We've been so used to saying wink for the longest. But with Mike McDonald. Hey, that's not working, even though he's known to make adjustments. So we're going to see. Hopefully he can hold his own and hold that down. But with him, if he's, hey, this ain't working. Well, hey, this was working. Let's get back to it. So stuff like that. And with Harbaugh, too, I will say the decision making has got to improve as well. It has got to improve as well. Um, I remember when some people say, man, that some people thought that the Ravens were actually losing on purpose. Some people thought the Ravens were losing on purpose those last games just because they knew that the Ravens, they weren't getting Lamar Jackson back, and they figured, like, oh, even if the Ravens do make the playoffs, uh, they going to lose anyway. So, you know what? They probably lost on purpose. And initially, I was like, what? Ravens losing on purpose? No, nah, man. I mean, I hope not. <laughs> but, no, nah, hopefully they weren't doing any of that. But the decision-making, it, it led some people to believe that they were doing it on purpose. So hopefully the decision making, it just, it, it improves. And, and Harbaugh even said it too. He said, if, if I could go back, if I could go back with all those two-point conversions, he said I would have went to overtime. I would have went to overtime if I, if I could go back. And I was thinking, well, I, I was in front, and I wanted you to go to overtime, Harps. But that's water under the bridge, right? Um, but it did help them get all the way up to that 14th pick. So I guess it's not all bad, right? Um, but no, with, with Harbaugh, so, I, and when, when the Ravens announced that he, they were going to be giving him um, a contract extension, well, when Jamison Hensley put that out, I was like, oh, okay. I just, I was disappointed. I was disappointed because I felt like he should have earned this contract extension. And I, I always hear so many people say, oh, man, but you, you, don't, you don't see how he had the team fighting and they, they lost everybody, but he still had the team fighting. And it's, it's still so crazy, and I, I hate to keep bringing it up, but it's still so crazy how so many people, they say, oh, Harbaugh for these moral victories, the fact that all these people got hurt, and he still had the team fighting. He deserves a contract extension. But then they'll speak about Lamar Jackson, and they'll be like, oh, Lamar Jackson, um, he, yeah, he had us winning, but he was regressing, so he, he should take less. He should take a cheap, cheaper deal. He should take a team-friendly deal. Now, I know only Lamar Jackson's contract, it impacts the cap. But when you look at the principle of it all, 
it's just it looks like both both of those guys they get judged a little differently from each other. But that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. But I just felt like with John Harbaugh that he he should have played out the last year of this contract. Now, um, just because they did sign him to a contract extension or they are going to sign him to a contract extension, it does not mean that he's a lock to still be with the Ravens beyond this year because Steve Bishotti has done that before with uh, Brian Billick. Signed him to a contract extension and then they fired him the, the following year. They fired him the following year. So just because Harbaugh's going to get that, it does not mean that he's safe, that it doesn't mean that he's necessarily off the hot seat. Now, I do think they, they went to that draft with McDonald's and, they, okay, what would you like to order today? Well, well, um, would you like to try our number one? Oh, no, thank you. No food for me. I just want to get two bags of ice. Two bags of ice to cool off that hot seat that Harbaugh was sitting on. That's it. So they, they did that. Uh, that's what that contract extension does. It cools it off a bit. And to me, I, I said it before and I say it again, I felt like it just alleviated so much pressure uh, off of John Harbaugh. But there's still, there's still a little bit of pressure on him. I just don't feel like it's nearly as much. Now, with the business side, which I completely understand, I, I, I get it. With him, if Harbaugh would have been on the last year of his deal, um, then it would make... It could have possibly made it harder for somebody like for them to hire a defensive coordinator. I'm sure they would have ended up promoting from within, which they kind of did since Mike McDonald had been with the Ravens since 2014. And 2021 was the only year that he wasn't with the Ravens since 2014 when he went to Michigan to go be the D.C. over there. Um, but I, I can understand that with them like, all right, well, Harbaugh's on the last year of his deal. Man, um, we want to hire somebody for a defensive coordinator. But how's that going to look for a head coach if the guy who's leading the defensive coordinator, if the guy who's in charge of hiring the defensive coordinator, how's it going to look if he's on the last year of his deal? It's going to look like this could be a short stint for everybody. So instead, you know what? All right, give him an extension. Give him a contract extension. So with that part, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I get it. I understand that. Because the defensive coordinator, they're going to be looking around like, oh, hold up. The dude above me is on a one-year deal? Now, depending on who they are, it will depend on how they look at it. Because one defensive coordinator could look at it like, oh, man, the head coach only got one year left on his deal. So I might not even be here that long because they might be looking to get rid of him. So then I will fall under him because he hired me. So I might be out of here, too. Or a defensive coordinator could look at it like, oh, the head coach, he's under a one year deal. Oh, man, they might be looking to get rid of him so they could hire me to be the head coach if I show them that I can get this thing done. So it all depends on how you look at it. And there's no wrong way for the defensive coordinator to look at it. But the Ravens wanted to be like, you know what? We don't even want the defensive coordinator to have those options of looking at it like that. Harbaugh, contract extension. So I'm like, okay, cool. Now, um, and I still feel the same about the philosophy. Philosophies, they, they, they got to change. Uh, they they, they got to change. And, and it's, it's a bunch of little things. And, and we talked about that. Uh, in a previous video about the Ravens' philosophies, but I feel like um, just the, uh, the 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 run heavy, run heavy, run heavy team. It's like that's cool, but again, they they gotta air this thing out. They gotta air it out, um, and they gotta be able to. They gotta put their best players on the field. Their best players need to play. Now, Harbaugh, because this ain't got nothing to do with EDC. This ain't got nothing to do with Giro. This ain't got nothing to do with uh, Mike McDonald. I almost said wink. So used to saying wink. But the active inactive list. Um, it's just, it's crazy seeing some of the stuff that goes down. It's crazy seeing some of the guys that when guys can get hot, they'll just take them out. They'll put them on the sideline. And it's like, what, what's, what's going on? Um, it, there's just such a lack of involvement of players um the, there's a lack of consistency when it comes to the involvement of players um and it's just sometimes it can just be so weird the use of their guys and I, i've said this before when it comes to the ravens is it's scary when you think about it because there have been a lot of receivers that have come through the ravens and you just 
we as Ravens fans initially may think, oh, man, that this guy came, the Ravens drafted him, he played a little bit, but, oh, man, he was bad. Oh, the Ravens drafted this guy, oh, he played a little, oh, he was bad. Ravens drafted this guy, oh, he played a little bit, oh, he was bad. But we don't get to see everybody's maximum potential. Because it would be one thing if it was like, all right, Ravens drafted this guy, oh, they gave him a lot of chances, he had a lot of targets, he did this, he did that, he did that, he did that. Oh, man, it worked out. Oh, man, it didn't work out. And I know you, you cannot do that for every single player. So I'm not saying that. But you have guys there that they have this potential and they're on the field. But a lot of well, sometimes they're not even on the field. But I feel like a lot of guys potentials, they don't get maxed out. They don't get maximized. So that's an issue. But that, that's been an issue with the Ravens for a while on offense. So that's really, that's, that is John Harbaugh, but that's really just the Ravens as a whole, something that they really need to improve on, in my opinion. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, like I did say before uh, with Harbaugh, all right, it's like, all right, we clean slate for this year. Um, and it's like, it's like a weird clean slate because like, all right, we, we know your history. We know what you've done. We know what you haven't done. We, 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 we know all these things. But for me personally, this is just me speaking for me, where I met with John Harbaugh, like, all right, let's run it. All right, let's see how this thing goes. All right, keeping G-Ro, brought on Mike McDonald. Y'all push Wink out the door. Y'all, <laughs> all right, cool. Let's see how you do things. Let's see how this show is run. Let's see how it operates. And let's do it. Hoping for the best. And we'll see uh, what goes down. So, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And let's hope Harbaugh and, and the Ravens that they can do this thing the right way this year. So, yeah. You see my boy, he like gotta make.